How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 here. So a couple of days ago, the Jacksonville Jaguars made a very strange and unexpected move. They decided to sign former NFL quarterback Tim Tebow to a one-year deal, but not to play quarterback. Rather, to play tight end, a position that he has never played before. Um... Now, when I first saw this news, like the rest of you, I'm sure, I was the same way. I'm like, what is Jacksonville doing here? This is crazy. They're signing Tebow, but to play tight end? I'm stumped. I, I don't know what to think of this. Not, But not just for the position, but rather he's been out of the game for a good five years. He's spent the last few years actually playing baseball with... Um, uh, I think it was the New York Mets organization. I could be wrong on that. And if I'm wrong, somebody correct me. Um, but he's been playing baseball for the past few years. He's been out of the, the game of football for so long. And he's being signed to play tight end. So I just, that made no sense to me. And I'm thinking, what is Urban Meyer doing? But I guess it's not all that surprising. I mean, Urban Meyer did coach Tim Tebow while he was at Florida. And, you know, who, who knows what... Um, what uh, Urban Meyer has in mind for this for this signing? I, good presence in the locker room. Who knows? Because honestly, guys, I really don't see Tim Tebow making the 53-man roster. Um, it's just he's been out of the game too long, and like I said, a position that he's never played. Odds are not in his favor. But look, I'm not here to talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars' strategy with this signing. I'm here to talk about the latter, as I'm sure you guys can tell from the title. But the past two days since this news broke, I have seen on comment sections galore all over the place so many woke liberal BLM types uh, just playing the same old game, playing the, the, the same comment over and over like we've heard a million times before. Oh, well, look at what the Jaguars did. They just signed Tim Tebow. He, a guy who hasn't been in the league for five years, why not Why not go after Colin Kaepernick? Why not? Why isn't he playing uh, in the NFL? Why hasn't the team signed him? I'll tell you exactly why. It is systematic racism. It is oppression. It is oppression towards the black man. They don't want Colin Kaepernick because he's black. Simple as that. Racism. Systematic oppression. All that nonsense. All that garbage that we have heard for the last several years now, it's become a broken record or a CD that is stuck on repeat. Old, 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 and just regurgitated junk. Not enough ways I can describe that. So I want to talk about that for a minute here. So first off, race is not even an issue here. All right, I, I seriously doubt that Tim Tebow was signed to this deal by, by Jacksonville because he was white. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So if, if, if uh, there's racism involved here, then how about the many, how about the many, many other black players that are in the NFL right now? We're just covering the basics here. So you can scratch off that the racism crap, but Here's the thing with that whole situation, you know, people, people saying like, oh, why is Colin, why is Colin Kaepernick not on a team? Why is nobody signed him? Uh, but yet, oh, Tebow out of, after being uh, out of the game for five years, five or six years, give or take, he's all of a sudden signed to a team. Well, yeah, I, like I said, I agree. That was a very strange move, but here's the thing with Colin Kaepernick, ever since he started doing his, uh, between when he started his, his protest kneeling crap and now, he's had a couple different opportunities to return to the NFL. It was Baltimore just a few years ago, like two or three years ago, somewhere in there. They offered him a tryout, and there was a very good chance that he probably would have made the team. But his big mouth girlfriend, I think she goes by the, the professional name Neba, I think. His rat girlfriend decided to open her mouth and call the front, the owners of the Baltimore Ravens, slave owners and slave masters. So there goes that chance. And then after that, he is given a, 
I don't know if it, I think it was just for the NFL, not for a specific team. But he was he was he was given a offered he was offered a tryout by the NFL. And I think it was in Atlanta where the location was. Well, he didn't show up for the tryout. Um, and now, to be fair, to be fair, I did make sure to check this out and review the details before making this video. He switched the location at the last minute, and it was somewhere at some high school field, not too far outside of Atlanta, I believe. But still, though, in technically speaking, he did not show up to his tryout for the NFL. Um, not at the location they had selected. He basically changed his mind at the last second and made his own tryout. So there was, yes, there was press there to watch him throw to other free agent receivers and whatnot. But still, he did not show up for the NFL's tryout. And this isn't the NFL, but he also had an opportunity to try to play in the XFL. Um, but of course, he didn't like the salary that they were offering, you know, because I think all players in that league were making like $250,000 uh, on a three-year contract. But no, he wanted a, a, an absurd amount of money to play in that league. And of course, he wasn't going to get it. But the bottom line is, people, Kaepernick has had his chance to return to the league, but he's blown it himself. Or in, in the first case with the Baltimore Ravens, his girlfriend blew it for him. Maybe it was a combination of both. I don't know. But... This is this is the just that's just that argument that racism and um, all this crap are keeping Kaepernick out of the NFL. No, the only thing that's keeping Colin Kaepernick out of the NFL is Colin Kaepernick. Okay, Tim Tebow being signed by the Jaguars and that situation has nothing to do with it. All right, and plus, Colin Kaepernick would be a cancer in that locker room to any team that he goes to because believe it or not people not all the players in the nfl support his agenda and the false narrative that he's preaching like oh systemic racism towards black people in america um they're oppressed constantly this that i could go on for a long time talking about that um the you know, f the police all cops are bastards they the uh, just all that nonsense that he's been that he's been spewing and this is where people need to wake up with Colin Kaepernick and not just him but any professional athlete like LeBron James for example or any celebrity in Hollywood that is pushing this crap those of you who support them and support this agenda and this narrative those people do not care about you Okay, Colin Kaepernick does not care about you. He only cares about himself. Same with LeBron James. Same with uh, uh, what's what's her name for the women's soccer team, Megan Rapinoe, or however the hell you say her last name. And same with all these actors and actresses pushing the same. They do not care about you. They are using you to better themselves, to better their own careers. I mean, what happened after Kaepernick started all his crap? $300 million deal with Nike. So, basically put it this way, people. I don't know how many of you have seen the movie A Bronx Tale, but look up the scene with uh, with C and Sonny talking about the Yankees and Mickey Mantle. And I challenge you all to do the same thing in real life. Go up, go up to Colin Kaepernick or LeBron James and see if they'll pay your rent and your bills for the month. Again, like I said... The, these guys don't give a shit about any of you or any of us. All they all they want is the divide because, believe it or not, people, there is money to be made with uh, with playing the race card, with pushing uh, division amongst amongst the uh, American people and and all that. But I guess that could be a separate video for a separate day or for another day. But no, the bottom line is race is not an issue here with the Tebow signing. It's not keeping Colin Kaepernick from playing in the NFL. He's had his chances. But people are just getting fed up with him. That's the big part of it. It has nothing to do with his color. It just has all to do with his bullshit and his attitude. So what more can I say? So there you go, people. That's my, uh, my take on the topic. I will catch you guys later. And on that note, God bless and good night.